I think colleagues know that this is a pretty significant vote for, for Alaska, um, given the, the outsized role that the Department of Interior plays in my state. You have heard me discuss it many times. And Mr. Chairman, I appreciate the opportunity to explain the, uh, the decision that I have come to and, and my vote this morning. Again, the Department of the Interior and the Secretary really does play a very outsized role in our state. We have more federal lands, more mineral resources, more natural hazards than any other state. We're set apart by very unique laws and the framework that Congress enacted and that presidents have signed, uh, whether it's our Statehood Act, ANCSA, or NILCA. Um, we're, we're an Arctic nation because of Alaska. We're a very diverse state. We've got many, many indigenous peoples and cultures who have lived there since, as they say, time immemorial. We're a state that is just different, and you have heard me say that. I seek to ensure that every nominee who comes before us understands that. I spend a lot of time trying to educate folks about, about Alaska and our unique needs. Um, and our unique peoples. And I spent a considerable amount of time with Representative Holland reiterating what is at stake for us in Alaska. Our prosperity in Alaska is directly linked to decisions that are made by the Department of Interior, whether th through their trust responsibilities, their authority over responsible resource development, or their monitoring of, of hazards and other threats. I've had two separate meetings with Representative Holland uh, outside of what we had, the time we had with her in the committee. Both of those meetings were over an hour. Uh, I sat through and listened to uh, all of her nomination hearing, asked lots of questions, reviewed the answers that she provided to all of us. Um, but I've also spent considerable time listening to Alaskans' views on her nomination. They're paying attention to this nomination, believe me. And I hear, I hear two things from Alaskans over and over again. The first is that so many Alaskans, Alaskan Natives in particular, are enormously proud to have a Native American nominated to this position. They recognize that this is truly a historic nomination. And in doing so, they believe that Alaska Native issues can be elevated to one of the highest level levels of government. The second. The second concern, though, that I'm hearing is that so many are concerned about the agendas that Representative Holland will seek to implement on her own and on behalf of the White House. They're concerned by her opposition to resource development on public lands, including her opposition to key projects in Alaska and her questioning of the vital, the very right, vital role that Alaska Native corporations serve in our communities. And weighing on, on top of all this is then my experience from the Obama administration when I voted for a secretary who promised to be a good partner for Alaska but proved to be anything but after the confirmation. So I have, I have really struggled through this one. How to reconcile an historic nomination with my concerns about an individual's and an administration's conception of what Alaska's future should be. I truly believe that Representative Holland's heart is there for Native peoples and all who treasure our public lands. I don't believe that is the extent of Interior's mission, but she's also told us that she recognizes that if confirmed, she'll be serving in a different capacity, as Senator Cantwell has mentioned. She told me that she knows she will need to represent every Alaskan, including those who work to responsibly develop our lands. And she committed to me that she will, these are her words, make sure that we're doing all we can to ensure that your constituents have the opportunities that they need. So given, given the early days of, of this administration, um, I do have my doubts that that is going to be the case. But I have decided, I've decided to support this nomination today to support the first Native American who will hold this position, and with the expectation that Representative Holland will be true to her word, not just 
on matters relating to Native peoples, but also responsible resource development and every other issue. I also fully anticipate that she will have a strong management team in place with people who understand the value of resource development from public lands. She needs this, we need this within the Department of Interior. So I am going to place my trust in Representative Holland and her team despite some very real misgivings. And I, I, I guess I would direct this to Representative Holland if you're listening. Know that I intend to work with you because I want you to be successful and quite honestly, we need you to be successful, but I am also going to hold you to your commitments to ensure that Alaska is allowed to prosper. So, Mr. Chairman, thank you for allowing me the time uh, to present my views this morning. Thank you, Senator. Senator Heinrich. Thank you, Mr.